Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about what is aortic dissection. So, aortic dissection is basically a separation between the inner and the middle layers of aortic arterial wall. In this, what happens is that the blood pours through the tear in the inner layer and it causes a bulge and weakness in that area of the aortic artery. So, as you can see in the figure as well that the blood is coming with a high pressure and then it is causing a separation and it is getting entered into the space that is between the layers the tunica intima and the tunica media. The aortic dissection occurs in the proximal 10 cm of the aorta that is a high stress region and it occurs in the aorta with the pre-existing weakness of the media. Now this is a figure of aorta and it is showing that the, there is a blood flow and the blood is entering through a tear in the wall into the space that is between the tunica media and the tunica intima. Now let's discuss what are the causes of the aortic dissection. So the most important causes are the hypertension and inherited defects of connective tissue. In the older adults who are aged 40 to 60 years, in them the hypertension is the most important cause and how the hypertension is leading to the aortic dissection. So let's discuss. First of all, hi hypertension results in hyaline arteriosclerosis of the vasa visorum. And this causes the decreased flow to the walls of the arteries and this causes the atrophy of the media. Then the second is inherited effect of the connective tissue that are more uh, common in the younger individuals. And the example of the inherited defects of the connective tissue is the Marfan syndrome. And we have another example which is the Enler Danlos syndrome. And these classically lead to the weakness of the connective tissue in the media, and which is known as a cystic medial necrosis. Now, here is a figure of a heart, and you can see there is an enlarged iota. And this enlarged iota is a characteristic of a Marfan syndrome. And this can eventually lead to the tears or aneurysms. Now the classification of IOT dissection. So we have a uh, total two types of classification. The first is the Stanford classification in which we have the two types of Stanford classification. The first is the Stanford A or we can say the proximal and in this category we have the two uh, types of DBAC-A's classification, DBAC-A1, DBAC-A2. Then we have another one, the Stanford B, which is also known as distal classification. And it includes only the one DBAC-A classification, that is the DBAC-A 3 classification. Now, uh, let us also refer to the text and along with the figure. So, the DBAC-A classification divides the dissection into three types. And these types are the type 1, type 2 and type 3. The first type involves the three parts of the iota which are ascending iota, arch of iota and descending iota as you can see in the figure as well. Uh, the second type it is confined to the ascending iota. The type 3 is confined to the descending iota which is distal to the left subclavian artery. Now in the figure you can see there are, the, uh, there are some percentages which are also given and in the Dubaque type 1 it accounts for 60% of the cases and the Dubaque type 2 accounts for 10 to 15% of the cases. Then we have Dubaque type 3 and this accounts for 25 to 30% of the cases. Now let's see the presentation of the patient in this scenario. So the typical signs and symptoms include the sudden severe chest and the upper back pain and often it is described as a tearing or the ripping sensation that is pressed to the neck and down the back. There is a sudden severe stomach pain as well. And the important point about the IOT dissection is that the, this dissection is unusual in atherosclerosis. Why? Because of the medial fibrosis, it inhibits the propagation of dissecting hematoma. That is why we cannot see them in the atherosclerosis or in the medial scarring. Then we have uh, complications. Okay, so what are the complications of the aortic dissection? So it can lead to the pericardial tamponade. And what is this condition? Uh, there is basically the fluid buildup between the heart muscle itself and in the sac that is covering the heart. And this condition is known as a 
cardiac tamponade so basically this puts the pressure on the heart and it prevents uh, the heart from working properly so this is the most common cause of death then the second complication it can also rupture with the fatal hemorrhages and the third complication is that you can also cause obstruction of the branching arteries for example the coronary arteries or the renal arteries and this can lead to the end organ ischemia so that was all about iota dissection and i hope you learned something from this video thanks for watching